Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. God's inviting you to come. God's not willing that any should perish. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You know, God sends a Bible preacher to a farmer's market so you can know how to get to heaven. And it's not only how to get to heaven. It's how to please God. I mean, who would want an almighty God angry with them? Oh, there's a loving God. God is love. He that has the Son hath everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God. God is holy, God is love, but he's also cannot tolerate sin. Sin brings judgment. Sin brings death. You cannot be in your sin and have a happy, loving God. Your sin has separated you from God. And when it comes to sin, God has provided the Bible says the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Sin brings death. But Jesus brings light. And that there is life after death. And the Bible speaks about a life after death. There's a heaven and there's a hell. There's nothing else. And you get to heaven through Jesus Christ. And you go to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. You see, it's God's heaven. God is allowed to make the rules. God can say who gets into heaven, who doesn't get to heaven. And God says to get to heaven, He has written. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. The blood of Jesus Christ is what will save your soul. And it's not by oral. You don't eat and drink the blood of Jesus. When the Bible says that eating and drinking of blood is an abomination. And the devil has made it a religion. You see, there are people who think, I'm going to go to heaven. And in order to go to heaven, I'm going to violate the scriptures. And when you violate the scriptures, you're not going to heaven. You're going to hell. There are people who say, well, I'm good. And the Bible says, there's none that do it good. So you're trying to be something that the Bible says you can't. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Well, 
Well, I'll give to charity. That's not believe in Jesus. I'll go to church. That's not believing in Jesus. I'll get baptized. That's not believing in Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For, who, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There are good people in hell. There are probably people who have been gooder than you have been good in hell. There are probably people who are outstanding in hell. But they are in hell because they rejected Jesus Christ. They did, they did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. There are people in hell that went to church. They got a membership in church. They were faithful to their church. They had honorary status in their church. And they are in hell because they did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. There are people in hell that never killed anybody. They never murdered. But they are in hell because they rejected Jesus Christ. And the Bible tells you that are living, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You can go to heaven. But you go to heaven on how God says go to heaven. God has never asked your opinion. God never asked you what you think. God's standard. God's regulation of going to heaven is through the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, that take away the sin of the world. You cannot and you will not be in heaven without faith and belief in Jesus. It's impossible. You're not going to heaven where I am going to heaven through Jesus. Through a back door. Through a loophole. You're going to get to the same heaven by the same way. Faith and belief in Jesus Christ. It's not by a church, it's by Jesus Christ. It's not by works of the flesh. It's by faith and belief in Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, you are able to be saved. And be saved to the uttermost. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that life is in Jesus. And in Jesus it's life. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from all sin. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You can't get to heaven where Jesus is without Jesus. 
You can't get to Jesus' heaven without Jesus. Jesus is the offer and finisher of heaven, and he's the offer and finisher of salvation. And you're not going to get to heaven the devil's way. The devil's way will get you to devil's place called hell. For hell was created for the devil and his angels. You can go to heaven through Jesus Christ. Or you can go to hell through the devil's way. And the devil has plenty of ways to go to his hell. And God has one way into his heaven. And Jesus said of himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You're not going to see the Father without the Son. You cannot please God by rejecting God and you reject God by rejecting Jesus because Jesus is God. Jesus is your only access to God. Life comes through the cross. The cross of Jesus Christ. Salvation is of Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. If you want to please God and you want to go to heaven, come through the door. And Jesus said, He is the door. There's no other door but Jesus Christ. And the church door is not attached to heaven. And the charity door doesn't open to heaven. And the door of baptism is not salvation. And the door of good works can't save you. But only the door, the door that is Jesus Christ, that is the door into the heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There is no other way. There is no other person. There is no other place than Jesus Christ suffering, dying upon Calvary and being buried and arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and now shall be saved.
there is life, but really there's no death in Christ. You're just absent from the body and present with the Lord. And without Jesus Christ, there's life and death and torment. There is hell for those who reject Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. 